Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. Today we're going to show you how you can use groups to group uh, dimensions together or group levels within dimensions together to create a sort of higher level category. Uh, so I've gone ahead and connected to a uh, cars data set. This just has a bunch of information about uh, different types of cars. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this cylinders dimension and we're going to group some of these together to make them a bit more uh, a bit more useful. So to create a group, all you do is you click on this little down arrow, go to create, and then group. Once you have that, we can begin to uh, to put these into categories. So maybe we want to group all um, sort of large engines together. So we'll get the 12 and 8 together. We'll call that a large engine with a large number of cylinders. We'll grab 5 and 6 and group those together. And then we'll grab three and two and call them very small. You'll see I've left four out as its own category. So we'll go ahead and apply that. You can see that it pops up as a, uh, just the default name is just the name of the uh, dimension followed by group. And then it has this little paperclip next to it that tells us it's a calculated group for one of the other dimensions. So just go ahead and click apply and then we'll drag that across. And now you can see that we've created groups based on these uh, based on the groups that we put them in. Now, there's a couple of other things that we can do too. Groups, uh, it's worth noting, aren't dynamic necessarily. So if we had another set of cylinders, we didn't have a 10 cylinder engine in here, for example, we only had 12 and eight. So if we had a 10 cylinder engine, that will pop up as a new row in the data set, and we would have to go in and manually assign that to a group. So uh, best to make sure that you have all of the potential values represented before you go in and create your group, but certainly useful even if you don't. Now. The uh, other thing that we can do with this is include another category. Uh, we don't have, or we didn't have an other category to start with. We just have four sitting out by itself. But if we included other and then ungroup those, you can see that when we ungroup things, instead of falling into a bucket that has just individual items in it, they get grouped together in this other category. So we could have large engines, five and six cylinder engines, and then other. Um, there you go. And that's how that works. So now you can see that instead of four being all by itself, and two and three being all by themselves, uh, they are in a single group. If we choose to exclude other, you can see we just get then three individual categories for four, three, and two. Uh, whether you want to do that depends on the context, how you're using this uh, particular grouping field. It is helpful sometimes, um, especially if you don't want individual items then popping up whenever they are uh, rolled in from the database or something like that, you just want to include them in another category. Um, it makes a lot of sense just to have that category there. All right, so that's uh, just about it for using groups. Uh, they behave just like any other dimension, so you can drag them around, use them um, essentially in place of a dimension. Um, so thanks for uh, watching this episode of Tableau in two minutes. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, there's a link to the workbook and the data set in the video description. And if you like what you heard and you'd like more Tableau tips and tricks, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.